this is my bare face without any makeup on and before we get into the foundation and concealer i'm going to fill in my brows so eyebrows are done if you guys want an eyebrow tutorial make sure that you let me know in the comments below but we're gonna move on to the next step and that is priming i always like to prime my face before i put on any type of foundation or concealer it just helps moisturize as well as create a barrier between the makeup that you're about to put on and your skin it's very protective in my opinion today i'll be using elf luminous putty primer this is their new primer collection it is super, super moisturizing for my skin. I have dry skin, so that's another reason I like to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized. So now that my face is nice and prime, I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Spiced Rum. I'm super excited to try this. And there wasn't much videos to help me like find my shade or anything, so hopefully I got the right shade. Um, and hopefully this helps you get the right shade because I feel like I'm the only chocolate girl that's <laughs> reviewing this. I'm gonna put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. So as you can see, I have a lot of dark spots on my face. And let's see if it covers it up without color correcting or any of that. So this is one light layer of the foundation. So far, so good. I feel like it has really good coverage. This is how it looks without any foundation on it. This is how it looks with a layer of it. I'm going to lightly, you know, build up on the layers. This is one layer. It has a pretty good full coverage for a one layer foundation. I'm still gonna go in with another layer, but I just want you guys to see how it looks one layer. Um, it's a little drying. I have dry skin, so I try to avoid foundations that are drying, but we'll see how it turns out. So, so far so good. Very good coverage. Um, like I said, it feels a little drying, but I'm gonna try it out and see is it gonna stay like this. So it has really good coverage. I do think it blurred um, like my dark spots and stuff like that. I don't see any peeking through, especially with the second layer. Let me get a closer mirror just to look at all this. Yes, I don't see any dark spots peeking through. Even the hyperpigmentation around my mouth is well covered. So for concealer, I'll be going in with the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in Chestnut. And for a lighter under eye, I'll be going in with Butterscotch just to brighten the under eye because I love me a bright under eye. So I like the applicator already. I just love how thick it is. And it just looks like it can get a lot of my under eye space. If you see me looking that way, it's because I have a mirror that way. I know I keep looking that way. I'm going to try to look more at the camera. So 
I like to bring my concealer high up to give me like that cat eye look and to just tighten up my face. I also like to conceal the sides of my nose just to give me that nice Snatch nose. This put a little bit on the forehead. I don't like a lot. And then I do my cupid's bow, chin. And then I like to do it around my mouth just to cover up some of those smile marks. And then I also have a little hyperpigmentation around there. So I like to cover both of those up. So this is how it looks. I'm not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, 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 shabby. Okay. So I'm just going to let this sit a little bit. I like my concealer to get a little bit tacky. It's not really tacky, but just to let it sit a little bit to give me more coverage. So I'm gonna start by blending around the edges, just lightly blending, 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 blending. And then I'm gonna go under the eye. And then I'm just going to take the excess concealer and blend it over my eyes to cover up that hyperpigmentation. So far, so good. I feel like the concealer and the foundation are both drying. Like I said, I have dry skin, so I don't think this would be a fit for me as of right now it's looking rubber dry but maybe after i spray it and set it all that it will um loosen up because my, my skin feels tight now i'm going with the makeup revolution concealer and this is in the shade c17.5 i'm going to use this to contour I'm just gonna 
lightly blend this in. I like to bring my contour down towards my temples. blend my nose contour. I like my nose contour to come all the way up towards my eyebrow. butterscotch and I'm just gonna brighten up this under eye also put a little bit on my nose just to brighten up the nose and just have the light focus right on it Set this using the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent honey. To set this, I'll be using this little powder puff. crazy and feeling real dry so I'm gonna be mixing these two shades from my Tammy X Revolution palette and this is their Paradise Glow palette I'm just gonna mix them together and set in my contour I'm gonna go in my Bite Beauty powder and I'm just gonna dust off the excess um, translucent powder. I'm 
gonna set my nose contour as well. I'll be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And for blush, I'll be going in with the NARS blush, and this is Orgasm X. gonna go in with the same uh, Timmy X Revolution palette and I'm only gonna highlight my nose today so there my nose right here right here oh and my brow bone So moving on to lashes, I'm going in with the Bite Beauty Mascara, and this is their Upswing Mascara. This is literally my favorite mascara. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner. some dramatic liner so that's why i did per so this is the final look um i did say it was drying but since i said it with the morphe continuous mist spray it looks like my oils have set and it's not as dry as it was um i love the coverage i love how it covered my designer bags and i just like how it feels overall i feel like it's worth the money it's giving quality it's very rich in comparison to like drugstore foundations and I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I was a little bit worried about the um, concealer and the under eye and just my whole face looking really dry. But the after look is just gorgeous and beautiful. I definitely think 
that you guys should invest in the Born This Way foundation and concealer. Now, I don't know how it would work with other foundations or apart, but together they are the dynamic duo. I like this. I give both of them a 10 out of 10, um, especially concealer because I've been struggling with getting my bags to not show concealers. And I feel like the sculpting concealer just whew, got my bags in check and it's like I don't even have it. And I feel like it is a hydrating because the box set is supposed to be hydrating, blurring and perfecting. I feel like it gives me all of that and more. I will be adding these two to my daily routine, but overall I really like it. I feel like you can use less foundation than I use. I use a lot because I want to cover up my dark spots, but even with the first layer of foundation, I feel like it was really good coverage. And same with the concealer. So if you have combination skin or dry skin, I think this is for you. And if, even if you have oily skin, it is oil free. So you can use this and it will just get you right. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for your skin. I will definitely be adding this to my makeup routine. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. And as always, remember to be beautiful and love yourself.